Hi, I'm Todd Rawls, and I'm here with sophomore track and cross country runner uh, Nathan Anderson for the Wildcat of the Week. How you doing, Nate? I'm doing lovely. How about yourself? Oh, I can't complain. There you go. All right, you just uh, you just ran in the Chili Pepper Cross Country Festival this past week in Arkansas. How was that when you're running against Division One talent and over 400 competitors? Well, as you can imagine, uh, for us as a D3. What we put in is what we get out, and so far we have been putting in some great work, but our competitors have also been putting in great work. And the turnout for us, we were more looking at our times. Our places were not so good compared to these here D1 schools, but our times have been improving, and that's what we're going to keep on going for to shoot for our D3 competitors and try to beat them. Okay, this is uh, Coach Locke's first year. How has she came in and made a difference compared to the previous coaches? She has came in and we now have morning practices, which is good, and we also have been told to run in the afternoons also. In the morning, she is there with us. Last year, we did not have such. Last year, if you were on the team, you basically had to coach yourself and get yourself to where you wanted to. So I was basically doing workouts I did in high school to get to the experience and times that I had last year. Okay, so walk us through like a daily routine and a training session for you. Well, usually in the mornings we'll get up here at 5.50 and we will go to Pineville High School where there's a track and there we will stretch and do our warm-ups for about 30 minutes and then we will get into the workout which varies usually depending on what the coach will want, whether it be a speed workout, a distance workout, an endurance type stuff, you know, it just varies on that. Okay, so it can be strenuous at times? Oh, yes. Uh, you know, running, it's an uh, endurance sport, you know. It's, it's other sports punishments out there, so most yeah. of the time folks don't like that. Yeah. All right, so how do you have time of balancing that and you're on the chapel band? Where, where do you find that, that middle ground? Well, it, rationing out your time, you know, uh, God's will, thankfully. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I usually I just give it all to him, and if there is anything that knocks it out of place, I have to play catch up. You know, normally I, I carry around this year note card right here. Mm -hmm. I will write down what I need to do throughout the day. Once I get it done, scratch it off, and I'm on to the next. And there is no break from sun up whenever I get up at 550 to sundown. You know, a man's got to eat and sleep. Yeah. And those are some priorities right there. That sounds like a busy work day. Uh Let's get to it's know fun. you. Yeah, let's get to know you a little bit more. So I'm going to ask you for this week's segment of Random Five. Just random five questions just you know, to see how you would act. Let's do it. All right. So if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Well, I was born and raised in North Louisiana. Um, I have been up north more into Arkansas. I do enjoy the mountains, regions, and going into the caves and such, the nice creeks and rivers, uh, fishing and hunting. That's sort of the stuff that I like so I suppose I would admire to get to know it more but also the world itself you know yeah. I, I cannot even put my finger on a specific place because I have not seen what's out there yet I've only studied it being a history major yeah. but Arkansas you know it's kind of central and such where all them hills and mountains are it seems a cool place to relax for at least a decent amount of time yeah, that's fair enough oh yeah do you have a favorite TV show I don't even have a television. Really? Okay. Uh, so what's your favorite radio station? Well, you see here in Pineville, there's only 96.9. That's the only rock and roll station there is mm -hmm. around here. Back home, you got 105.3 and 99.3, which is local. We used to play on that station mm -hmm. uh, whenever we were, you know, I played guitar back home, and I just picked up the bass being here, and we would play at uh, various places uh, in Ruston, Sundown Tavern, Peach Fest, and things like that. Okay. Okay. If you could be a celebrity for a day, doesn't matter who. There you go. Slick your hair back. Who would it be? Jeez, I've always, I've often been called Johnny Cash and Elvis around here. Okay. All right. It's fair enough. You walk around with the guitar and oh, get yeah, all the yeah, girls yeah. you wanted, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, that's the thing with Elvis. You know, you, I grew up watching him. My grandmother, she had this home entertainment theater center, and here come this guy on there when I was a kid. You know, with his slick, greasy hair and a nice guitar. All the girls screaming at him. Mm -hmm. You think that would be a nice job to have right there? Oh yeah, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. Okay, let me ask you for the next one. Okay, what do you do when you're bored? Well, I'm often never really bored. You know, if I if I sit there for too long, even on break at work, you know, I'll, I'll fall asleep. So uh, usually, play guitar, and there's always something to do. Study here at college, you know. Mm -hmm. cause, you know, we're all working to get that diploma paper. Yeah. So. Uh, that was about it. But back home, uh, 
I just usually tended to the garden, hunted and fished, and then you know usually whatever you get, you got to clean it. So most of the time, you're you're always busy doing something. You know, I've been blessed with the ability to do works and things like that. So I just normally do not stand still. Uh, it, it bugs me, it answers me. I'll start to shake or something. I got you. I got you. Okay. So if you could be a teacher, what would you teach? What would you teach? Oh. That's actually my major. I'm a history educational uh, major here at Louisiana College. I'm going to be a teacher in history, social studies, and, you know, things like that because I, I just love history. Okay, what's your favorite time period of history? America, you know, from like uh, the beginning up to now, it's just so amazing. You know, uh, our 20th century that, you know, though we've just got out of, so much has happened just in that time here in America to get to where we are now. It's interesting to see such and into the 19th century, that late 19th century. It's just uh, amazing how we were one of the latest countries to form, but now we are the greatest. There you go. America. <laughs> well, that was uh, Nathan Anderson for the Walk Out of the Week.